All right. Good morning, prayer warriors. It is Monday morning, day one, day one of our prayer week. Good morning, Karen. Good to see you this morning. Karen is ready to rise up as a prayer warrior. Sandy, good morning. Great to see you this morning. You are here every morning. So faithful. Alex, good morning. Good to see you on this day one of our prayer week. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you got to church. Good morning, Phil. 21 days till Christmas. Come on, somebody. Better get busy. Better get your shopping done. All right. It is officially this morning. Keep the well clean Monday. Today is officially keep the well clean Monday. Gages are in the house. Gages are going to keep the well clean this morning. Good morning, Kathy King. Great to see you this morning. Nick, my brother, is in the house. All right. Good morning, everyone. Today's officially Keep the Well Clean Monday. We're talking about winning the day with wisdom. Going through the book of Proverbs. Today we are in Proverbs chapter 25. We've just been pulling out one or two verses every day of wisdom. Because we win the day with wisdom. All right. We win the day when we live lives that show the world that we've been changed by Jesus. Let me say that again. We win the day when we live lives that show the people around us that we've been changed by Jesus. When our lives become a witness or a testimony of the power of God, it influences people. Thank you, Frankie. Good to see you this morning. We are called to influence the people around us by living godly lives. When we compromise morally in front of other people, we lose our influence. When you decide to just to join in with the unwholesome talk or the unwholesome behavior of people around you, you lose your influence. Our lives should communicate to other people the power of God to change a life. Your life should influence because you're different. When, when your life shows people that God can change a life, that's when you have influence in people's lives. So let me ask this morning, do you care about the witness or the example that you are showing to others as a Christian? Are you, are you concerned about that? Or do you just kind of join in, blend in with what everyone else around you is doing, whether it's good or bad? Well, Solomon in Proverbs has some advice for us. So, uh, Proverbs chapter 25, verse 26 says this, like a trampled spring, spring of water, trampled meaning you, you just trudged through it. You, it was clean, but now your, your footprints have stirred up mud and dirt, uh, and film in that, like a trampled spring or a polluted well is a righteous man who gives way before the wicked, a righteous man who gives in, a righteous man who, or woman who compromises, a righteous man who just blends into an unrighteous world, a, a moral man who just blends into the immorality of the world. See, do you care about your witness? Do you care about your example that you're showing to others? Solomon says, that, that a righteous person that gives way before the wicked is like a trampled spring or a polluted, corrupted, contaminated well. Now, who wants to drink water out of a well that's got feces in it, that's got you know mud in it? Who wants to drink that water? Nobody does, right? So we go to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 7 to 11. Paul says this, Therefore, do not be partakers or share in unrighteousness with the people around you. Because you were formerly darkness, but now, as a Christian, you are light in the Lord. So walk as children of light. Not children of darkness, children of light. Verse, eight, uh, verse 9, the fruit of light, the evidence of light, consists in goodness, righteousness, and truth. So we are to walk in goodness. We are to walk in righteousness, moral purity, and truth. Trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Verse 11. Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness. Instead, expose them. Our lives are supposed to be so different. We are to stand out so much morally that we actually, our lives, the purity of our lives exposes the impurity of the people around us so that they feel convicted in their life when they see us. That Solomon says, like a trampled spring or a polluted well, a contaminated well, is the righteous who gives way to the wicked. Now, 
What's the significance of Solomon using the picture of a well? Wells were the, wells were the life source of people who lived in the desert. That was their source of life. A, a well that was polluted or compromised was worthless. You couldn't drink out of it. You couldn't get life from it. If the water became contaminated, people had nothing to drink. It, it threatened their well-being. It threatened their existence. When we give in and lower our moral standard in front of others, it hinders our ability to lead them to life. We're, we're supposed to be like rivers of living water. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to give life to people in how we live lives. But when we give in uh, in front of others and lower our moral standard, we, we lose our ability to lead them to life. So, so what, if, what if you are the only well in someone's life around you? What if you're the only source of life through Christ? What if you're the only Christian? All right, today is Keep the Well Clean Monday. It compromises our effectiveness in being a spiritual influence when we give in to temptation, when we give in to the immorality around us. When Christians compromise their faith, it harms the people around us. We're no longer a well that they can draw life from. We are to be salt, meaning we are to enhance the lives, the flavor of life to those around us. We're to make life taste better. We are to be light, showing them what God is like, giving them hope. When, when you use profanity in front of others, when you talk behind people's backs, when you cheat, when you're dishonest and people see it, when you treat people rudely, when you take advantage of people, when you ridicule people or make fun of people, when you, when you say one thing, but you do another, when you, when you don't control your anger, when your words cut people and injure people, when you contaminate the well of your witness, you lose your influence. When we do those things, we compromise our ability to be a life source to people. No one wants to drink from a polluted well. People think your spiritual life is polluted when you join in and do what everyone else is doing. What is today? Keep the well clean today. Be mindful of your witness. Be mindful of your testimony. Be mindful of the example that you have to other people. Solomon says the righteous person is like a well. It can either be a pure well that people draw life from, drink from, find nourishment and sustenance from, or it can be a corrupted, polluted well that if people drink from it, man, it could harm them or they just stay away from it because they don't want anything to do with it, man. Our witness, friends, matter. It matters. How we carry ourselves in front of others, it matters. We need to be uh, people of light, not people of darkness. We need to be salt in the earth today. So friends, today, man, let's watch what we do. Be mindful. Don't be partakers with those who are doing things around you. Be different. Expose those things. Lovingly guide people by your witness today. Let's pray this morning, friends. The Holy Spirit would empower us to live lives that keep us from being a trampled spring or a polluted well. Father, this morning... Thank you for everyone listening with me, everyone praying with me. And we ask you, Lord, this morning for the, the extra strength and power of the Holy Spirit to keep us holy, to keep us pure, to keep the water of our well clean today, Lord, so that people around us can, can drink. People can, can see that our life has been changed by Christ. People can see that we've been transformed by the power of God. They can have hope. Help us to be salt today. Help us to be light today. God, help us to, to uh, not partake of uh, the, the wrongdoing, the compromise of the people around us, Lord. We want to glorify you and honor you today, Lord, with our words, with our actions, with our attitudes, with how we treat people. So empower us, Holy Spirit, today to do that in Jesus' name. Everybody said, come on. Amen, amen. Hey, friends, you're going into the world, and you are a well. What's the water going to be like? Is it going to be like a, 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 a spring that's been trampled on and mud placed in there and animals come in and dump their feces? Or is it going to be pure, a clean well, a pure well, man? We make the decision for that as we go through the day. Have a great day. Day one of the prayer week, win the day by keeping the water clean. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.